And gentlemen and programmers, here we go. We're going to add Xbox controller control and tank stick controls to your platform jumper. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at the picture on the next page to understand the layout of X arcade controller. What is the X arcade controller? You may ask. It's the controller we use on the arcade machine, and the the best platform jumpers of the of the year are going to all get onto that uh, arcade machine. So you're going to have to set it up now to be ready for that day. So you're going to create a method call definition to be able to control the good guy with the X arcade controller. So let's get started here. Okay, so look, if you want to use it, so the up arrow, the down arrow, left and the right arrow work fine, just how we've been doing it. Um, Greenfoot doesn't work well with control, alt, or shift, but we can use space. These are, so space will operate this button, Z will operate this button, and this button. So I think your best bet is to use this stick and these keys, right? So um, take a look. Here's an example. Let me show you from my project here. Okay, so what we're going to do is something that looks like this. Okay, so you're going to have in the act method, you're going to say check tank stick. We're going to come down here. We have something like check tank stick. And so right, left, right, and left are going to correspond with. Let's go back here. Okay, so when I say right, that's going to that's going to happen when you go here. When I say left, that's going to happen when here. Um, when I hit space, so when I hit this third button, it's going to jump. And when I hit the X key right there, it's going to fire. Now you notice I don't have up or down, so we could add that in there too. So this is just an example. So you need to do it the way you want, but get that in there, okay? And let's keep going here. That's how you do the tank stick controller. Now let's talk about the Xbox controller. Now the Xbox controller is trickier because the Xbox controller does not use letters, right? So we're used to using letters and things on uh, the keyboard and the Xbox controller does not do that it does some other system and you could get the Xbox controller to work directly with um, Greenfoot but it's a huge pain in the butt so what we're gonna do instead is download this joy to key because what it does is, is when you press a button on the Xbox controller it turns it into a letter so we can just use it just like we've been doing okay so here's what I want you to do I want you to go to my interweb site okay so you're gonna come over here you're gonna go to my interweb site and you're going to find Platform Jumper 3, and then you're going to click here, right click on this and open it in a new tab. You're going to come over here, and you're going to see this thing, Joy to Key. You're going to right click on this thing, and you're going to say Download. Yeah, you're going to download it, and it's going to show here. So you're going to click on this, Show in Folder, and you're going to come over here. And if it doesn't open, just open a folder and go to Downloads, and there it is, Joy to Key. Now, you need to get this in your folder with your name on it. So there it is. There's your folder with your name on it. Actually, there's my folder with my name on it. Okay, and so you're going to drag it into um, Intro to Programming and stick it where you want. Right. So you're going to drag this into your folder and stick it where you want. Okay. And then once you do that, you're going to unzip it. I'm going to unzip it here. You're, you need to unzip. Well, I'll just do it to show you. All right. So you're going to drag it into where to go. Yeah, intro to programming, sorry. So you're going to drag it into intro to programming. And okay, so we're going to go into intro to programming. And inside here, there is the joy to key. So we're going to right click on this thing and we're going to go to 7-zip and we're going to extract here. And then you're going to double click on it, the exe, and it's going to open this thing. So once you unzip it, it's going to open this thing. And this is how we program the Xbox controller. Okay, so first thing is to download Joy to Key uh, to your folder, put it in your folder with your name on it, uh, unzip it, and install it in this folder. Okay, it makes it, ba it makes it basically it basically makes it so that if you press a button on the Xbox controller, it is as if you pressed a key on the keyboard. So you can look at this website for more help if you want, but I'll probably f help you figure it out. Okay, so we need to go to the Options tab and set up a few preferences. So once you get this thing open. You're going to go to the Options tab, and you're going to set up a thing. So if you want to use two joysticks, you can. Um, for now, I'm going to say this. So you have the choice here. You can just use the stick, one stick. You can use the stick and the POV and all that. By the way, you might want to know what some of that is. So let's look here. So here's, the, here's stick one. Here's stick two. Here's the POV. Um, then you have the, the buttons from one, two, three, four... Uh, five, six, and these are the axes here. Um, so these are the axes buttons. So anyway, th those are that. So um, okay, so where are we at? Here we go. So 
you can just set it up to use what you want. So this uses everything if you want to use everything. Um, and then you're going to adjust the, the stick 1 to 30% and the stick 2 to 50%. Um, and let's look at why. Uh, so Joe sticks to 1 unless you want to. Um, you could adjust like that, what he said. Alright, so 30% and 50%. Um, if you find that the controls seem to be sticking a little when you're playing the game and the good guy's not moving as you would expect or like, then you have to play with the thresholds here to get him how you want. So that might be some trial and error. <coughs> I just sneezed. It was terrible. Okay. So, okay. So now that you've got done that, so we actually have to, so we're done with options. We're going to go to joystick one. And you can just go to s the stick and set it up as you want. So, for example, if you want to use stick number one, let's go down here. So, for example, let's say I let's say I want to use the stick one, and I want to use so up, down, left, right. Well, it looks something like this. So I'd go to stick one, and I'd say, okay, stick. I double click on this and say I want that to be A, and then I want this to be D. And I, if I want this to be W, click OK. And I want this to be um, S. OK, so now, so I have A, D, W, S, or W, A, S, D, however you want to say it, right? And let's, let, so, and let's say that we wanted, um, let's go back down, let's take a look at what I want next. And then I want the fire button. Let's say I want this to be the jump, 5 to be jump, and six to be fire jump and fire okay so let's go back here so then I'd go to button six where's button six okay so button five I'm gonna say is gonna be like Z or let's say V so that's V alright and then this is six is gonna be B click OK alright so now I'm gonna set it up to work with the A, D, W, S, and V, B. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my code here. I'm going to scroll up, and I'm going to say, all right, so we need to say, check Xbox controller. So in the act method, you say, hey, check Xbox controller. Then you're going to go to the Xbox controller, and then you're going to say, okay, so if I want to move right, that's going to be D. If I want to move left, that's going to be A. And then... If I want to jump, that's going to be, what do we say, V. And if I want to fire, that's going to be B. Okay? And so now it's going to work with the Xbox controller. Okay? So, but we're not done yet. We need to save our settings. So let's take a look here. Um, configure the buttons the way you want. Save this profile with a name that makes sense. Okay. So we're going to go to, we're going to go to rename, and we're going to call this, uh, I'm gonna mine it. So my game is called Cookie Factory. Okay, and I'm gonna click OK. There's Cookie Factory. So here's the settings. So you can have different settings for different games. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Yep.